Hey there developers, welcome back to another exciting video. My name is Hamza and I'm a developer advocate on the Adobe Express team. Today we're going to dive into the process of sharing and submitting your add-ons to the Adobe Express Marketplace. This is your ticket to reaching a wider audience. So let's get started. Now, before your amazing add-on can go live, it needs to go through a review process. This ensures that the add-ons on the marketplace offer a fantastic user experience. We'll need to prepare some metadata and assets for your add-on. This information really helps users with a need or a problem to find your add-on. Before submitting your add-on, it's essential to carefully review the submission guidelines provided by Adobe Express. These guidelines outline the requirements and standard for publishing on the marketplace. Some of the information required includes a summary of your add-on, a full description, and a help URL where users can go for support. Don't forget to share a privacy notice and an end user license agreement too. Also part of this are keywords. Keywords are important for discoverability, so make sure to add some relevant ones. Additionally, you'll need to prepare your assets that include your add-on icon in various sizes, a screenshot demonstrating how to use your add-on. You can have additional screenshots if you'd like, and a publisher logo representing you or your company. All right, once we have all of these essentials ready, it's time to package your add-on for submission. Just open up your terminal, navigate to the root of your add-on project, and run the following command, npm run package. And just like that, you'll have a dist.zip file containing all of your add-on's production-ready content in a zip file. Once you've prepared all the necessary information and assets, you're ready to submit your add-on. Follow these steps with me. Click that Manage button in the add-on's launchpad to invoke the distribution modal. Choose the distribution type that suits your add-on, whether you want to share it privately with somebody or if you want to share it publicly so it's available to everyone to enjoy. I want to share it publicly, so I'll select that. Upload your add-on package by selecting the zip file we just generated using the npm run package command. Give your add-on a unique name. Remember, it needs to be something that hasn't already been taken. Important tip, be sure to save your draft so you don't accidentally lose any progress. Now let's add the listing details. It's time to show up those required icons and provide any additional information that showcases your add-on's awesomeness. Upload some screenshots of your add-on in action. At least one is required, but you can add more. Specify the version details and share any optional release notes. For example, if you're submitting an update to an existing add-on, you want to write down what's new and exciting. If this is your first submission, let's create that publisher profile. Fill in the necessary details and upload a 250 by 250 publisher logo. Last but not least, add any notes you want to share with the reviewer. For example, if there's any special access requirements that the reviewer will need to have in order to test your add-on, make sure you have that written down. When you're all set and ready to go, hit that submit button and send your add-on off for review. And there you have it. You've successfully shared and submitted your add-on for publishing. Now you're on your way to reaching a broader audience. Best of luck with your add-ons, and I encourage you to refer to the developer documentation containing the most up-to-date submission requirements. Thank you for watching.